Hi guys, bargain store time. Picked these up in my local bargain store. They were actually reduced on special offer, 37 pence each. So they're pretty cheap. I'm guessing they may actually be out of date or old stock or something. But they're highlighter tape. Let's see if we can get one out. The idea is you use them. <laughs> we well, are supposed to be able to use them. Oh, that's better. To highlight things. I picked them up because they've got a couple of toothed gears. And I thought, I wonder if I'll be able to use those for anything. So that's what project will be to see if I can make use of those gears. I don't think they'll be particularly strong but I might be able to use them to connect an electric motor to an axle or something like that. We're going to use the pizza tray as the chassis for the car. These gears, I'm going to use them to connect a little electric motor to the axle. This is actually out of an old um, vibrating toothbrush, this one. The only trouble is the shaft on that, ax on that motor is obviously much too small to go in there. So I found a couple of plastic beads. I'm going to hot glue them inside to make up the space and then push that or push them onto the shaft of the motor. So hopefully that will be reasonably accurate. For wheels I'll use some milk bottle tops. Cut my polystyrene pizza tray. It's now 15 centimeters long and 10 centimeters wide. I'm going to use a drinking straw for the front axle tube, which I'll hot glue just there, and for the back axle. I'm using these bits of tube, plastic tube, that actually come out of one of these um, soap dispensers. It's the tube that goes down to the bottom. It's just a handy piece of plastic tubing. I'm just heating up my hot glue gun when that's ready. I'll glue them in place. It's best if I put the axle through first. That will hold it in the right place while I glue it. When I'm using plastic milk bottle tops and these barbecue skewers, I always sharpen the end of the skewer with a pencil sharpener. Just makes it easier to push it through the little hole that I've made. But I'm actually not going to put that on yet because I'm going to put some little plastic beads that I've drilled this, the middles out a bit so they actually fit over there and I'm going to use them to stop the wheels going too close to the bodywork. I've already done the front wheels. Right, I'm hot gluing that gear wheel directly to the side of the milk bottle top before I actually slide it onto the barbecue skewer. 
Right, all up together. So we got the gear wheel on the inside of the um, bottle top, and we got the other gear wheel on the shaft of the motor. And I've hot glued the motor in place just on top of the pizza tray. And I've got a battery there that I've got a bit of double sided tape holding it in place. And I've actually got some neodymium magnets on the end of these wires just to make it easy to connect them onto this battery. So I don't need an on off switch or anything. Um, you don't have to use them at all, it's just that I've got them and it's convenient to use them. So we'd better go downstairs and do a test run. Okay, we'll give it a test run. Right, summary time. First of all, this little electric car happens to be 15 centimetres long by 15 centimetres wide and obviously left less than 15 centimetres high so it fits neatly into one of my 15 by 15 by 15 projects that's an electric car that's within the criteria uh, but it also fits into my bargain store projects series because these gear wheels came out of this mono marker highlighter tape which I bought the other day in one of the bargain stores it was actually only 37 pence so I bought two of them, this is the second one which I haven't used but I noticed they've got plastic gears in them and I thought they might be useful for a project and that's what I've used them for so summary as to what we've actually got here, we've got a piece of pizza tray as the chassis, we've got four milk bottle tops as the wheels, uh, we've also got four little plastic beads that I've used to keep the wheels away from the bodywork. The axles are barbecue skewers, uh, the front one is in an ordinary drinking straw, uh, the back one's in a couple of bits of plastic tubing and electric motor came out of a vibrating toothbrush quite a while ago, it's been used for quite a few projects since then but it was convenient and available and I've got a AAA battery that I'm powering it with uh, I have got some little neodymium magnets on here to actually hold the contacts onto the onto the battery you don't need to use them I just happen to have them handy and I thought that would be a convenient way of connecting it without having to use an on off switch or twist bits of wire so that's why they're there you don't need them at all and the motors just hot glued in place and that's it job done Two in one.